Well, Paul, that was a really hard fought win. You must be delighted. Yeah, it was. You know, Walking have been on a fantastic run themselves. I think you can see why they make it hard for teams. I did feel that we got on top of the game, though. Uh, but you're always, you know, a nil-nil. It's on a knife edge. A set play, which we know they, you saw it yourself a, a really big team and a threat from set plays. Thought we did well on those um, today, in particular. Won some good headers or made it difficult, so we we weren't really forcing Maka to make sort of positive saves from it. Um, I think there was the one sort of opportunity for him where we've cleared it off the line uh, from some good play. But at half time, we heard about the kind of message came we, that we'd heard about him outworking us. I don't think they had that capability personally. And I think as a result, we, we did get on top of the game and eventually a, a sort of pressure in terms of territory and, and ball possession paid off. Really. And I presume you have to win that physical battle in, in order to get on top. You have to, 100%. Uh, it's, you know, people say it's a league you're in. It's always, it can be a physical battle, but I knew that it would be a different game than the Altrincham game. Um, the front two are, are a handful and lively. So we defended it pretty well for, for large parts. Um, but to start with, we, you know, it, it takes time for a game to settle, don't get me wrong, but I think we were too keen to just play the sort of way we were facing and down one side of the pitch rather than looking for switches of play which we felt could tire them out and I think as it went on you know there were some tired legs out there on both sides um, but I felt we had the upper hand in that department and I think we're, we can be a, a difficult team to play against. First 10 minutes, they were looking from up there, almost looked like the last five minutes of a cup final, both sort of sides <laughs> pushing forward. Did you see it that way as well? I know what you mean, yeah, it was seen quite open end to end, both teams attacking. I think from that point of view, it was a, a good start, certainly a good start to the game for the neutrals. Um, said it wouldn't naturally settle down. I don't think you can play the best will in the world like that for, for 90 odd minutes. And that proved to be the case, you know, quite a, a warm day, certainly for October. Um, and after Tuesday night where we went down to 10 men, I think that the players, I just had a quick glance, you know, sort of some of the stats are down, which I think is partly understandable, partly because of how the game was, as in they, they sat in and allowed us to have the ball uh, to a degree. Um, but it was a big ask. Uh, I kept the same team, with the exception, obviously, uh, Erico coming in, because I thought they deserved it, so that we played very well. Uh, but a couple of subs came on and had an involvement for us. Um, thrown right at the end, but more Lenny and uh, Max that helped us, you know, get that goal, which was the all important one today. Particularly interested in, in, the, in the Max substitution, which uh, I mean, sort of pushed Harry back a little bit, it seemed to, in, into the midfield. Why did you make that one particularly then? Well, pushed him sidewards yeah, rather yeah. than backwards. Um, just felt the legs in there, we wanted to be more attacking in terms of an out and out winger. We were having lots of the ball, we didn't feel that we had to be massively um, expansive on the ball just to work it up the pitch. So we were wanting to see if we could perhaps get Max in at some 1v1 situation. I think their right wing back um, put in a, a really good shift for them and, and often matched Harry up and down the pitch, which takes some doing. Uh, so we wondered whether or not a fresh pair of legs might just kind of be a difference. Probably didn't in terms of the exact way that we would want it, but he picked up a nice area and, and obviously laid the ball off for the winner. So they were positive uh, substitution turn trying to win it. Sean at the end, they've chucked the centre half up, trying to get another man on there. I think the very first thing he got a, a whack, almost looked like he. Were, I thought he was going to be concussed at one second, but jumped back up and you know thankfully we saw the game out. Are we surprised to see Harry put one in from there, from outside the box? No, uh, I've said it recently, he's, he needs to score more goals because he's capable of it. Um, in training, he can hit him off either foot as well. And thankfully, you know, well, thankfully today he's, he's turned out to be the winner for us, but he's hit the target. He had one first half, but he dragged, certainly. But that's two games running he's scored. Um, trying to think, did he score against Dover? I can't remember. Um, but he's. You know, he capped off a, a typical Harry performance, but overall, you know, not taking anything away from him, 
it was a team performance that, that got the win. Weren't quite at his best, that's for sure. But I think some of that, again, is, is kind of tactically. It was a different sort of game, different uh, problem to solve. And, and we got there in the end. Monsieur Fete available after suspension now, Wilbur Parga available after suspension. You've got some difficult decisions to make because it's been shown, hasn't David Long King dropping out through injuries. Once you're out this team, it's very hard to get back in it. It can be, and I've just said exactly the same to the players that, you know, people are making me make difficult decisions. Giles Cork's out at the minute, and I'll be truthful. At the start of the season, I wouldn't have expected that to happen. Um, but it's a squad that will ultimately determine whether we are you know successful or whether we determine success um, and players will have the moments uh, some will have more than others that, that's just the, the nature of football but we certainly can't just you know that 11's done well in a couple of games or near enough the 11 but there will be changes as we go along and you know it's nice when you can almost get to a point where if I see standards drop in training for example I can just quite easily say, well, you're coming out and put someone else in if you're not willing to do the work, which, don't get me wrong, I'd, I'd, I'm pretty sure that they are. But that's kind of the kind of almost a utopia you want to get to as a manager. And I said it to him, the team that I said I was going with when we did a set players yesterday, they need to be on it. Because if not, look what happens. You've mentioned a couple of lads there, I've mentioned one, and there's more. So if we can keep everyone fit, I've got a massive problem but a good problem and one that over time you know you have to uh, look at the whole situation one or two might not accept it as much as others but you know let's be honest we it's a good place to work it's a good place to be uh, and we're up trying to make that continue final two things fans of course again magnificent and your, your goalkeeper keeping a clean sheet on his 500th appearance yeah quite apt for him you know I didn't want to make too much of it realistically I obviously was asked the question the other day but he's been a fantastic servant um, didn't have loads to do today thankfully I'm quite happy about that uh, but when he did he, he I think he did enough to force a lad wide enough in the first half and a great achievement for him and you know it's nice when that sort of thing happens because what you don't want is to get beat and make a mistake and that's how you remember such a, a fantastic milestone so please for him the fans you know he, he's got to the point it's not a surprise and I won't take it for granted don't get me wrong but we it's incredible really when you look at it I think if we you know you put stats out there for for teams uh, and the support that we get we will be right up there and that yeah we're winning but and, and thankfully giving them something to shout about um, but you won't get many teams with that sort of following even you know one two leagues above that's great